Okay, part two of lesson 11, negative and zero exponents, okay? So for this, for number one, let's just go through this really like detailed, okay? So we understand. A is just like X, but they're using A, okay? A over zero. They're trying to tell you that if anything, any number, any positive number, any positive number with this exponent of zero would always equal one, okay? The, exp the answer will always be one, okay? That's very important. And for a negative n, they're trying to tell you that any positive number with any negative So any positive number with a negative number, right? They're trying to say that it was always, it was always, it will always be a over n to make nor to make the negative exponent neg positive, not negative. Okay. So, for example, three negative two, that would flip over to be one over three two which would then equal one over nine. And for this negative seven, zero, when you do, if you have a negative number with exponent zero, it will always equal negative one, okay? So only difference between a positive and negative number is that the negative gets a negative and the positive is just one, okay? That's what we're trying to tell you. Okay, let's do this one. One over five, negative two, right? Well, for starters, let's flip it. So one, one over five, two, right? And we're going to multiply one over five times one over five. That's 125, right? So 1 over 125. We can also write 1 over 125 like this. 1 times 25. So the answer would be 25. Now we have 0, negative 5. Okay? And for this, you get an error. There is no answer to this. It is undefined. Okay, next one. 2 over 3, 0. Like I said, this one. Any number with the exponent of 1. Exponent of 0, not 1. I'm so sorry. It's just 1. Okay, it's always 1. And negative a, negative 2. Let's flip this over, so it'll be negative 8, 2. Negative, negative 8 times negative 8 cancels out the negative, so it's just positive. So 8 times 8 is 64, right? So the answer would be 64, 1 over 64. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Okay, this one is 1 over 2, negative 3. So we'll try and flip that over. So it's 1, 1 over 2, 3. For this one, we're going to multiply 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, right? So that'll be 1 over 8. So 1, 1 over 8. And if that would be 8. Okay, so the answer is 8. Negative 1, 0. Okay, like I said before, when you have a negative number with an exponent of zero, you will always get negative one, okay? Cool. Now here it says six, negative four times six, four. Okay, let's see. Well, we can say with confidence that six, four equals one, two, nine, six, okay? 
But now we have to change this to fraction in order to make this possible. So 1 over 1, 2, 9, 6 times 1, 2, 9, 6 over 1. These cancel out, right? So all you get now is a 1. For negative 2 over 2. Okay. You get 1 over 4, 2, right? Which is 1 over 16 over 2. So they're telling you to multiply 1 over 16 by 1 over 16. So that would be 1 over 16 times 16, right? And 16 times 16 would be 2, 5, 6. So this will be your answer. Okay. Let's just do a few from here because these are all concepts, concepts that we already did. So let's do, let's, I'll just speed through them actually. So one, okay, so three, negative four, that'll be one over three, four, right? And three to the exponent of four, be 81 so 1 over 81 right and they're telling you 1 over 1 over 81 that equals 81 okay so they're telling now it's 81 times 4 over 2 so 81 times 16 81 times 16 would be one, two, nine, six. Okay. Okay, five, negative one. And like I told you before, you have to flip it. So that'll be one over five. Okay. Five, negative, exponent negative one would be one over five. So, that will go for the same thing. 5 exponent negative 2 will be 1 over 25. So if you're going to divide these two, it's going to be 1 over 5 times 25 over 1. Okay. And then that is just 1, that is 5. So you will get 5 as your answer. Okay, now let's do this. Flip it, right? So that will just be 4 over 3. And 4 times 4 times 4, 16 times 4, right? 16 times 4. Your answer would be 64. Okay, 5, negative 3, negative 1. So that'd be 1 over 5, 3. So 1 over 1, 2, 5. By negative one now. Now they're telling you to do this, just flip it, right? One, two, five. That's all that is. Six negative two divided by six over two, right? So one over thirty-six divided by one divided by thirty-six. So one over thirty-six times Yeah, 1 over 36 times 1 over 36, that will equal 1 over, let's see, 1 over 1, 2, 9, 6, okay, 1, 2, 9, 6, cool. Now next one, 2xy over 5. They're telling you to distribute right now. So 2, 5, x5, y5. 2 to the power of 5 would be 32, x5, y5. So the answer is this. Okay? And if you want to look back at 
the work, you can just pause, you can always pause. Okay, last one. Last stretch, let's do this color, why not? Okay, H, J, K, six times, C7 divided by C6, okay? Well, H6, J6, K6. And then you're trying to multiply that by C7 and dividing that by C6. Well, C7 over C6, one right so you have to times this by c that's your answer because you don't you don't know what h is you don't know what number j is you don't know what c is you can't solve it any further you know okay okay 2x negative 2y by five, so it's just this long diagonal. Then you divide that by negative four x by two y, and then by two. Okay. So first, let's solve negative two y is five. Well, negative two with the exponent of five. That is negative thirty two. Negative 32 y5, 2x. Since it's negative, you're going to flip that over. So that'll be 1 over 2x, 32 y5. Okay. Now let's solve the denominator. 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So it's 4y four squared, our exponent. And you're dividing these, so you are going to multiply this by 2x, 32 y, y5. Mm, okay. And remember that previous lesson we had on multiplying exponents? Well, we're going to use that here. So... Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, right? And then we're going to times x. And that would be... thirty-two plus 4, so that's 36. Y, 7. Negative 8 x with the exponent of 36, y exponent 7, okay? That's kind of hard to look at, but I mean, it's more of a systematic thing, so I, I think you guys should be fine, okay? Cool.